Welcome to The Real Effect. I'm your host, Mia Dene, and I am bringing you real black entertainment news every week. This week, we're hopping right into our top picks where we are talking about TV One canceling Roland Martin's News One Now. Page Six was the first to report on this story, saying that TV One canceled the show because of budget cuts. Martin and his production were totally blindsided and surprised by the announcement, especially since the show had just extended to two hours this past summer. Despite the cancellations, TV One says that their partnership with Martin will continue and that his voice is extremely important to their company and that it will continue to be heard over all Urban One platforms. TV One's interim GM Michelle Rice wrote this in a memo. After four years of award-winning programming and distinguished service to our viewers as the only black daily newscast on television, the network has made the difficult decision to suspend the production of News One Now as a daily morning news show. The last live show is scheduled for December 21st. This is definitely a disappointing moment especially since we know Roland Martin has such a powerful voice for the black community and this was the only daily news show I watched this and I'm gonna be sad to see it go. I know Roland Martin is gonna continue to do great things for the community and for humanity in general and we thank him for his commitment to News One Now and for always putting the black voice first. Moving into our next top pick, the Oprah Winfrey Network has secured two new stars for its new dramedy, Love Is. Inspired by the real life love story of creator Mara Brock Akil and her husband, writer-director Salim Akil, Love Is tells the story of Nuri and Yasir, two struggling artists trying to make their dreams come true when their paths cross and their views of love and success change and evolve as their love grows for each other. Love Is will star Michelle Weaver and Will Catlett. Weaver is best known for her roles in Switched at Birth, the 2016 film Illicit, and Tu Lava, Tu Lantula. Catlett is one of my favorite up and coming actors. I have been watching him since he has been in Rumi Lover Friends. He's also starred in TV shows like Giants, That Guy, and First, which is a modern day Love Jones. Congratulations to the two of you. Now, viewers, let us know, does this show pique your interest? Do you think it's gonna be your own hit? Moving on to our glow up of the week, I am excited to announce that Jordan Peele is the lucky winner. After being blatantly disrespected by the Golden Gloves classifying his horror film as a comedy, Jordan Peele continues to make big gains and even bigger wins. CBS announced earlier in the week they will be bringing back the Twilight Zone to our TV screens with Jordan Peele and Simon Kinberg as producers. CBS All Access confirmed that they will be rebooting the Twilight Zone but has not confirmed when it will be premiering. The actor, writer, director, and producer had this to say about the reboot. Too many times this year it's felt we were living in a Twilight Zone and I can't think of a better moment to reintroduce it to modern audiences. Congratulations, Jordan Hill, on all your success and for being our glow up of the week. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of The Real Effect. And before we go, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of the latest real black entertainment news. I'm your host, Mia Dene. Until next time, love always.